Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have the first Asian event captured on this channel. It should be intriguing to see that you're seeing an overview of both of our maps. The first map here being the Bloody Lane, and then our second map here being Roulette Lane. Two great maps on the Antietam Battlefield. And with that out of the way, our teams for today on the CSA side, we have the Davis Brigade, the Shenandoah Regulars, 1st North Carolina, and 8th Virginia. Whereas on the Union side, we have the Irish Volunteer Brigade, 3rd Alabama, and the 51st New York. With that being said, thank you to all our Patreons for the support. Go to the link in the description if you want to help out there. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy this event. And here we are live on the battlefield for the glorious Asian event. Something you'd be a little surprised by. I certainly was the first time I saw that there was an Asian event. So with that being said, we're going to look at our numbers here quickly. A perfect number. We're on Bloody Lane, 34 v 35. It should be exciting. Another interesting note is that I didn't know War of Rights um, did that for unidentified characters because some of these people, right, were Asia. There's Chinese or Japanese or whatever uh, text that the game just doesn't recognize, which is something I find hilarious. So we ha I haven't seen a match this small in a while, so it would be fascinating to see how things change. Tickets are worth way more of... Um, of the total percentage of tickets in the game because at the beginning of each round the server looks at how many players are on each side and then um, makes each ticket worth a certain percentage of the server and if there are less players each um, ticket is worth more so every death is much more valuable or every life is much more valuable not so much death so the Union Historically, with their buck and ball on this map, IVB, uh, they push up on this side, and then they'll charge down onto the snake fence. CSA usually waits for them in the corn here, which, I don't know. I've never seen it work. Maybe it'll work because of the smaller server size. I don't know. But the only time I've seen the uh, CSA defend this point on the right successfully is if they hold their men uh, right up here. But maybe that was just a one-off thing. Um, the big thing is you don't want to get close to the buck and ball. And as we can see, the Union is moving quickly into this. This man's moonwalking on the bottom. So CSA is holding off at a distance. The Union getting a crap ton of shots in. Most of them should be buck and ball. And we can see the CSA pretty much got wiped there <laughs> wasn't even wasn't even close nice shot there who shot that I, I, I don't know who shot that but heck of a shot in the flag oh CSA got they got wiped who's still alive for the CSA There's two guys left I mean but speaking of that like look at the top look the CSA uh, how many like they are so far down on battle ready um, just because of that little tiny encounter there that a normal War of Rights wouldn't maybe have the biggest uh, impact on. Maybe that wasn't the whole CSA team. Probably should have looked at that. Um, but we have uh, SR, CWA, and first NC. Um, speaking of which, I know we know SR Tog right here and his men. Um, they play European and North American events. I don't know who WA is, so I'm guessing that's probably a Chinese regiment. Same with 1st North Carolina. Um, looking back over on this group who respawned, we have uh, DB. I think that's Davis Brigade. I've seen them in European events, and I think 8th VA is Chinese. I assume the um, all the regiments I don't recognize are Chinese because I don't know of any other country like Japan or something like that that has regiments in game. So we have IVB and 51st New York rolling out together. We've seen them, um, 51st New York and European, IVB and NA and EU. Second VA Cav, I assume, is Chinese as well. Third Alabama, we've seen them in European events. Williamson, a recognizable name. So Union is moving out to the point of contention. CSA kind of falling back um, a little further. They want to avoid the buck and ball. That's what I presume, because, I mean, CSA is almost halfway down to engage. 
Ah, uh, is the point disabled? That might be the case. Yeah, it looks like that's the case here. So CSA falling back further and further because they know they're outnumbered. I, at least I don't know if they use a Steam chat, but uh, they probably know they're somewhat outnumbered. Now it'll be intriguing to see how the CSA will respond because Union can't go far into that corn. Uh, so how far will the CSA fall back? Again, it's some nice shots here. You can see they're coming down through the corn as well. I don't know if these guys see them. They're taking all their shots. Sure, they're getting a couple hits. But if this group just keeps going down, they're going to hit them in the side and, and do an impressive job. They got in there. Can we can we hear them talking about anything in game? Charge, charge, down this line. Ah, there they go. They're still leading the way. And they don't even see this coming. And the CSA split in two here. You have kind of this mini charge happening over here, Union winning this. Uh, and then the rest of the CSA are now up and overing and going there. This DB, FBA, and Shando regulars here. And it looks like CSA is going to win this charge. Uh, the rest of the Union, they get, they could get in this. Interesting. So CSA will be able to survive this in the end and they will win but they're almost down to engage so union still winning i mean attackers uh if you don't know they have more tickets overall than the defenders which just makes sense it's harder to attack you need more tickets or manpower to take a point so even if both tides uh sides take even casualties which is what i think we saw there um that favors the attackers in every which way and i guess the point is enabled um so Union will cap the point to try to force the Confederacy out to them. Up and over, up and over. Shade of Zabor. Up and over. Yeah. Maybe AFBA is European, I don't know. But Union's capping. And they should really push the CSA down to engage and then capped. Um, because the counterattack timer for... So there are five stages in the game. You, the first stage is battle ready for each team. You, both of them are at right now. The next stage is engaged, then taking losses, breaking, and then final push or last stand. Final push for the attackers, last stand for the defenders. Um, and we can see Union's going to cap when CSA is at battle ready. And so now the counterattack timer is 20 minutes. Uh, if the CSA was at engaged, or the defenders was at engaged, um, that would be 12 minutes. Um, Taking losses would be seven. So Union's going to have to hold this for 20 minutes or else CSA is going to be able to regain tickets here because if the defenders recap the point in a counterattack, uh, they go up to the percentage marker uh, that the attacker's at if the attackers have more tickets than them. So you see, for example, right, let's say the Confederates uh, recap the point right now the confederates would go up to about 50 to 60 percent um on battle ready because that's where the union's at percentage of tickets wise confederates and engaged uh, but is a game of chess war writes is So CSA falling back, they're kind of outgunned, and then a little outnumbered too. I mean, are our numbers still balanced? Uh, yeah, they're dead even. So normally, like, a five-man difference wouldn't be the biggest deal in a War of Rights game, but in a tiny server like this, it can make or break the game, especially when one team has buck and ball, like the Union does. Uh, for those of you who don't know, buck and ball lets you shoot, I think, four 
So normally a normal shot in the game, it shoots like one pellet um, or shot, whatever you want to call it. But Buck and Ball shoots, I think, four in this game. Uh, we can see first North Carolina. They're trying to sneak up here on the Union using the corn as their cover. They don't have a flag, so that conceals them pretty well. But the thing is, is they can't get respawns in there because people can spawn on the flag. And there's a flag. <laughs> So, this is going to be very hard for the CSA to overcome. They are, um... I mean, when you're even numbers and the other team has buck and ball, um, shooting four mini pellets at you in close ranges like these, it's going to be very hard for you to overtake them. One thing the CSA could try to do in this situation, because it's going to be hard for them to retake. Um, so... This is just more mentioning this on top of a possible strategy CSA could do. I don't know if CSA knows, though. Um, we do see uh, 8th VA. They're starting to push up on a couple of these Union uh, skirmisher group from 3rd Alabama. I like this push here. That's going to be a nice ticket kill for the Union. Um, so, the one strategy... I was going to talk about is so the union is now considered the defenders um, and normally right the defenders will go to last stand but because the union capped they're now considered the defenders so they would get the last stand stage if they hit that and the CSA who were the defenders and are now the attackers um, will get final push so if the CSA were to push union into last stand um, they could win the game is a the more complex strategy, beautiful shots here by IVB in 51st New York. 8th VA, barely any guys left. And they are pursuing. Nice shot. You gotta get this last guy. Was that a team kill? I think it was. Was it a teammate? <laughs> No response. Break, reload. Left safe. At least no response in game. So first North Carolina looks like they're going to try to push up again uh, and engage with the third Alabama. I don't think third Alabama has buck and ball. Do not believe they are. We can check shortly after this uh, encounter though. We do have a Rambo here in the corn. Rancho. He's going to somehow get out of there alive. So yeah, let's let's take a take a look at. It. So if you're on Bloody Lane, this glorious map, my favorite map in the game. Uh, if you go 69th New York, you should be able to have the option to choose Buck and Ball, which um, Third Alabama is opting not to. Uh, I I really do not see. I mean, I think. Th it's just going to be hard for the CSA to win on a map like this. Um, it It is a little... Well, I don't know. I think it's a little easier for the CSA to... Um, I guess this is for any map in the game, but the more players that are in a server for any map, right? We can get up to 300 in this game as of now. They, I think they tested 400 again the other week. Um but the more players there are on a server, it's easier to defend maps um, for numerous reasons. And so that's why defending this is going to be so hard. Because uh, we only have 30-some people defending against Buck and Ball. It's, it's very difficult to. I mean, this is a USA bias map in the first place. For that uh, reason, a Buck and Ball, and they can just kind of charge down this hill. There isn't a whole lot of time for the CSA to respond defensively. So, Union's almost at that next stage of engaged. They're getting there. They're very close. You can tell they're getting close if you can't tell because on the top, the uh, ticket bar, it's slowly moving down. That was a change in the recent update. So, 
we can see this CSA group taking shots, 8th BA, DB, and Tall Gray. On the other hand, 1st North Carolina and their guys are pushing further right here. See, I've seen WA before from Zulu's guys. I don't think these are Zulu's guys. Zulu, I haven't heard his name in a while, and I just... I wish I understood what he was saying. It's like, why did you, why did you learn all these other languages? War of rights. <laughs> that is the cool thing. This, uh, a lot of people from around the world, especially in the Europeans events, you have French, uh, Germans, England, uh, Russians. Polish people. You got a lot of countries playing those Europeans. Who shot that? Mr. Collins, sir. Nice shot. But we can see, I don't like the Union pushing down the middle of the road. They could use the snake fence to cover. Sure, they're maybe trying to use it as a defilade. Uh, defilade meaning, like, they got a little cover in the ground. Um, that was a poor definition. Uh... But 3rd Alabama getting into this uh, corn, the snake fence. Union going down to engage, but Confederates are going to hit taking losses in a minute. Um, another thing, uh, the ticket stages here. Um, so battle ready. That was the first stage we saw both teams at the beginning of the game. That means you're between 75 and 100% of your team's tickets. Uh, when you're at engaged, that means you're between... Um, 50 and 75 percent so union has 75 percent of their tickets right now confederates are about to be at 50 percent of their team's total tickets um taking losses which is the next stage which confederates are very shortly going to hit um shows that you're between 25 and 50 percent of your tickets um breaking is zero percent 25 percent and then your last stage is when you're at zero percent of your team's tickets so we have this weird two CSA prong push. You have um, the CSA out in the back here. They're trying to circle around on IVB and 51st New York on the point. And then you have the CSA in the corn, which is the collage of regiments, trying to flank the um, or get at the 3rd Alabama. So this is interesting. CSA have an opportunity to squish the point, uh, the people on point, which is huge because they have buck and ball, and Confederates go down to taking losses. Third Alabama, uh, after shifting left to get out of there, they're returning to these positions now. And Third Alabama lighting up the CSA group here. Uh, CSA missing a lot of those shots, but a lot of them were dead beforehand. Um, yeah, wow, that's that's crazy to see. CSA on top of the hill, still holding up there. Um, you can see IVB in 51st New York now shifting down this way to assist the friendlies. They gotta see the guys behind them. They're gonna volley. <laughs> Are they gonna volley? Boop, one shot. <laughs> so, uh, CSA, first North Carolina, they're starting to shift down uh, to the point. They're going to use these rocks as cover. Um, but again, the thing is, is uh, IVB, they got buck and ball. And so, even though they have some rocks and cover, that's huge. Also, if you don't know, um, when you die in this game, uh, each death can be worth a different amount of tickets. Uh, so if you're standing and you're by five or more men, um, for example, like these IVB guys are in 51st New York, they're standing up around a lot of people. When they die, that'll be one ticket um, off. When you are crouching or you're with um, three to five people uh, and you die, you would be a skirmishing death, which, the, for example, this guy is in skirmishing. He's actually not a line, which we'll get to in a minute. But uh, so when you die skirmishing, your team loses three tickets. And then when you're all alone, 
like these two gentlemen here, uh, you die out of line, and that is five tickets. So that's how the game encourages um, team play to the max. Um, because you will, you cannot, like, the thing about, the cool thing about this game is that, uh, or I guess the interesting aspect is that um, one man cannot turn the tide of the battle um, in terms of shooting, right? Sure, an officer can organize his men, give an inspirational cheat, and, like, make a good plan. Sure, that might be one man, but in terms of, like, the actual combat, it's it's got to be a whole team effort, uh, which is... The cool aspect of this game. Hell at Loose almost gets at it. Uh, or I guess Hell at Loose gets at that as well. Third Alabama charging in. Um. So CSA just falling back. Um, this is something. Like I get what the CSA is trying to do. Avoid casualties and such. But uh, by running away. You saw they're getting slaughtered. And the Union from point are coming off, and they're going to cut these guys off. They're going to dash the point. I like what the Union are doing here. And it's a couple of the CSA guys. They're just, they're turning back around. Confederates going down the breaking, so that means they have 25% of their tickets remaining. Well done to the Union. Holy crap. That, that was, holy crap. That was, be that was beautiful. Um, So, yeah, that is the... Um, Dang, that, that was just well done on Union's part. Wow. So that's the thing, right? Um, I guess in War of Rights, retreating isn't always as valid of a strategy. Um, it can make sense in real life. Like, you want to protect your men. They don't die. Uh, but in War of Rights, you just lose tickets. You can still respawn in. And that's the big thing with retreating, right? It spreads out your men a little more. Like you saw the CSA, they were kind of spread out, so they were probably dying more in skirmishing. Um, whereas if they would have just stayed and fought, uh, they could have died a lot more in formation. And on top of that, they could have killed a lot more Union too, because by retreating, you maybe killed one or two. Um, but especially in a smaller server size like this, every, every kill matters so much more. Uh, we have Rancho here. He, he wants to take a shot. I don't think he got a hit. The CSA guy wants to take a shot. He misses too. But no surprise to the Union dominating this map. <laughs> yeah, so Union just has to hold this point for five and a half minutes. If anything, the Confederates will probably have final push before... They do so because Confederates are now considered the attackers since Union has control of the point. Um, another thing, uh, if you don't know, what final push and last stand are fully. Uh, final push is the attacker's last chance to try to take the point. And the timer will be lowered to a point um, differently for each map. That point uh, being... How long it takes to get from your main spawn to the point of contention two times without bayonets and reloads. So that's what the final push timer will be. If the normal game clock is lower than that, um, that timer won't change. Um, so we can see USA just starting to volley at the CSA. Um, not a bad idea. Um, but the thing with final push as well is that... Uh, you have infinite tickets, right? Doesn't matter if you die out of line in formation. Tickets don't matter. Um, you just have a very limited amount of time to cap the point or recap the point. Uh, last stand is the defender's uh, last stage, um, which means you cannot, uh, once you die, you cannot spawn in the game anymore. You'll start spectating the other players on your team. Not like the view I have, but like it's like a third person view from a, another game. And you can change what player you spectate on your team. Uh, the thing with Last Stand 2 is that if you're waiting to spawn in when your team hits Last Stand, you'll automatically spawn in the game. And that is why Final Push is overpowered. Because there's a thing in this game called Overtime. What 
where if there are more men on the point of contention um, attacking than the defending team, an overtime will be triggered. Um, if the team trying to attack the point has, is on final push and they force an overtime, uh, they can just make that go on forever. Because to end on overtime, a team has to fully cap the point and then I think cap it a second time. I don't know how long the inner timer is. So we're at the three minute mark here for the counterattack timer. Uh, CSA, they were organized in one group, but now it looks like they split off. They're trying to do a two pronged push. Have one group push down this right side and one group push down the corn. Um, however, Third Alabama is going to push up uh, on these rocks and take shots here at the CSA group. Who is it? Let's see how well this volley does and then we'll go see. So, a lot of those shots going off here. CSA, 8th VA leading the way. Um, they aren't stopping. They're just going straight for the point here. And Union getting a decent volley there. Uh, this first CSA group is just going to get swarmed from both sides. Uh, they're going to get no backup from the other group, First North Carolina. Um, as they took a longer way around. Now they're hopping up and over. And they are now charging in. Yeah, I don't think the CSA are going to win this. No. I, it's quite tight. But Union having those officers there, getting kills. So we can see, right, it was like four-ish minutes before the charge started there. And really, we only saw 30 seconds to a minute go by. Uh, CSA hit final push, and now that clock got moved down uh, to a minute 20-ish. So what that is saying is that the, it takes the CSA um, a minute, 20, 80 seconds. It takes them 40 seconds to get from their spawn to the point of contention without bayonets and reloads. Um, so CSA has an infinite amount of tickets right now. They just have um, 50 seconds now to take the point. And, I mean, they have a huge opportunity. Union is not picking up these fla this flag here. Um, and you can't get respawns on the flag. I'm surprised they're not. Union's just got to get up here as quickly as possible. And you can see they're just going to the point. If the CSA has more men than the Union on point with zero seconds, an overtime will be triggered. And the CSA are probably going to retake the point because they have an infinite amount of tickets and basically an infinite amount of time to retake the point. But here comes the CSA. Third Alabama should not all shoot this guy. They got one kill out of that. Two, sorry, three. I should stop talking. But as of now, Union have more men on the point. You can see that because the blue thing around the clock is gaining. Uh, they're starting to lose it, and overtime has been triggered. So CSA has a long time. If Union can hold this push, uh, I think they'll win. I don't know if they have their loads, though. We shall see. It's not like CSA has bayonets either. That shot was so huge by Madsen there. He killed the Union officer. And some Union guys are getting their bayonets right here. It's funny to see. Uh, point is still going in the CSA's favor. That blue thing around the timer going down. Um, wow. Bastel's back in it, though. Getting that kill. Union going down to taking losses. That officer slot is so huge. Getting three kills. I mean, CSA still has more men. They need to get these flags up so they can have men spawning right here. CSA still kind of probing here, and they're going to be rushing here from Son. Looks like they're going to hold. Wow. Union controlling this game, but... 
CSA and just mass charging there twice win them the day. So you can see the CSA, they're going to go back up to the union's ticket percentage mark, which unions uh, basically at taking losses, uh, they just got it. So the Confederates are going to go up to um, whatever the percentage of tickets the union are at. I heard the word. So, Confederates. Successful recap. But Union's just going to go bonsai. And I'm surprised they aren't waiting for their friendlies because they do have 31 minutes left till the game is done. Nice kill there by Inobetta. So, Union losing those two flags, which is huge, because flags allow your men to respawn. And you can see the Confederate ticket marker finally readjusted itself. Um, and they are back out to 50% tickets. Because at the start of taking losses, your team's at 50% um, remaining tickets for your team. Of course, CSA still overall have s a smaller amount of tickets. However, that is still huge for them. Union should probably just force the CSA down to breaking and then cap the point because of the CSA are in breaking, which is that next morale stage or last stand. Because now CSA is back to defenders, so they will hit last stand um, as of now. Uh, but if CSA is at breaking or last stand, Union can just, when they cap the point, they win the game automatically. There's no counterattack like we saw um, at the beginning of this game. If the uh, Union were to cap right now, that would be a seven-minute counterattack. I'm surprised no one's shooting at each other. You know, I should just stop talking because every time I talk, like, the, the opposite happens. So CSA running up, or not really running up, but they just, like, took some shots and then they fell back. Um, maybe just trying to avoid the buck and ball, but that wasn't even the buck and ball group. Uh, and then this other CSA group that is pushing forward is uh, now dealing with the buck and ball group. And you that one shot there by uh, Tumu uh, from IVB, that killed two guys right there. Third Alabama's got to come help their friendlies. I can't tell if these guys are trying to decide to go over or not. So a union player is uh, a rebel. That is the first time I've heard that in this game. And now third Alabama is moving into assist here. <coughs> I don't know. It's kind of close here. But it does look like Union's going to win. They do have their officer there. Confederates got to fall back. If they take too many out of lines, they could go in the breaking. And Union could just cap the point and win the game. Like this guy's got to run back, bro. Let's see if High Arc here can get these kills. Because, um, I mean, CSA could go down the breaking with any of these kills. That's one. Look to your right. Look to your right, High Arc. Did you just teabag him? You just... Look to your right. Look to your right. Are you kidding me? What? What? <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that? Ah! And you know, I'm no joke. CSA is like one or two hits um, from going down to like one death away from. Wow. 
That is really all I can say about that. <sighs> so unions cap. I really hope they don't cap the point. Union should precap. So precapping um, is essentially where you make like cap the point a lot of the ways, but you don't fully cap it. Literally, union just. Like Union just needs one more kill. Uh, Confederates just need to sit in their main and force Union to cap the point. Because there's no way to see us. Is Union going to cap? Okay, yes, so the first uh, NC will not force the point and then we will strike it uh, from the left. We need to just uh, charge the enemy, yeah, charge the yeah, enemy well, to we'll the left. We will just do the same as, as, uh, as the last time we can make it. Everyone we need to be aggressive as it might be possible. Piraz Kora March. So Union capped the point. You saw seven minute counter attack. You could hear the CSA officers talking. Uh, so Union just has to hold this. Six and a half minutes. Um, but we shall see. It, it, it'll take. I mean, the way the CSA is going, we're probably not going to see combat for another probably minute, minute and a half would be my guess. But CSA again splitting off into two groups. You have the collage of units going that way, and then uh, no, first North Carolina. Heading off to our right here, NWA. Um, but this right group is going to get there first, and they're going up against the Buck and Ball Gang. Company taking gun on I, taking, taking, taking. Right side, same. Hold on, hold on. Taking, kill an officer, taking, taking. Prepare. Fire. They got one kill. I don't. I doubt you got the officer, but it was it probably scared the shit out of him at least. You got a kill. Okay. We don't have time for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. We will move to the point and then just start from from everyone. I said double quick for the match. For this is taking a lot longer for the CSA than expected. So third Alabama is kind of holding in this. CSA <laughs> 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 hit breaking. Union's almost down to that point. <laughs> that was really f hilarious. <laughs> so CSA pushing forward in this way. So third Alabama does hold in the end. What is your character doing? I don't know what Madsen's doing, but we're seeing another charge on this end. Third Alabama looks like they're coming over to assist their friendlies here. Um, it really sh the Union should hold this. Yeah, no, Union won that decisively. So, we have some guys that are taking shots. So, we did see uh, last time when the CSA was put in this situation, they just kept charging out and they did win. Um, and it looks like they're going to be doing that again. So, Union does have time. They have a lot more men than last time, and they have their flags up. Uh, so, they'll be spawning men in, and they can get their bayonets to reload. So, I, as of now, the Union should be able to hold us. Some nice shots. <laughs> These uh, wavy bodies have been very evident in the game as of late.
So CSA probing, trying to get uh, their men. It looks like they're getting bayonets or reloads as well. Fortunately, this flag is giving them away because, I mean, you already know it's there, but, I mean, we can, can we see it from this perspective? No, well, you can't. I guess not. Took that we're down the hill a little bit. Uh, does a lot. This place is about the rebel. Two minutes left in this counterattack. Um, and CSA is going down far left. Where will this second group go? That's a big question. Are they going to try to do a two pincer attack that we've seen them do all game? Um, time will tell. Union just needs to stick together um, and wipe the CSA uh, groups, um, defeat them in detail, um, which is why I think we've seen the Union uh, fail defenses at points is because they split off like they're doing right now. Um, beautiful volley there. But it can cause this third Alabama group to possibly lose because they don't have buck and ball. Not saying the IVB group can't, but... Kind of getting both views here, both charges. I mean, Union's winning this bottom charge. Confederative final push. They got a minute seven to retake the point. Um, if they retake it, they're probably going to go with the breaking. This is going to be weird. If Union hits last stand, though, uh, meaning they go down one more stage because Union's considered defenders, uh, Confederates could just win the game. So IVB winning that charge outright on the left side. And 3rd Alabama is now pushing forward. And some of the Confederates are starting to fall back. Some of them. Some of them are. Uh, 35 seconds. I think the Union has secured the point. I don't see how the Confederates are going to get there in 30 or so seconds. Sure, they're going from their spawn, but it takes 40 seconds. But wow. Uh, uh, yeah, no, they're not going to get there. They have 10 seconds. Uh, <laughs> come on, come back, come back. That's where it goes. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So, well, the Union, I, I think Union pretty much controlled that map. There's. I don't know how else you can describe that. Um, I mean, CSA did end up winning one charge, but it's just very hard to win as defenders on smaller size servers, especially when the attackers have buck and ball like that. But not like it wasn't a good effort by them. So let's see our casualties here for the first Asian event. That wasn't as bad. That wasn't that bad. That was enjoyable to watch. Um, Look at these raging casualties. I mean, it's just insane the amount of casualties we're seeing here on the uh, the sunken lane, bloody lane. It's interesting that it's called uh, sunken lane on this little map here, but when you hit tab and see the scoreboard and all the players, it says bloody lane. But yeah, you, you can just see by the casualties you're controlling the map. Uh, it's funny how it spiked there at the end. But yeah, with that being said, we'll see you in the second round. And here we are live on the glorious roulette lane. So if you can't tell, uh, that's the map we just fought on, Bloody Lane. And now we're here fighting over this point on the roulette lane. Uh, very exciting here. CSA on the attack. So this is historically a very CSA biased map. And with small numbers like these, uh, it shouldn't. that's just exacerbated. So the big thing for the Union is they just cannot let the CSA pass this L formation here. Uh, L being this snake fence and this stone wall. If the CSA get past that, well, you're pretty much screwed. Um, more than you already are. So normal CSA strategy is to go past the little beehive things here. Uh, push down this left side. Um, well, generally, they'll hold at the stone wall or they'll go into the woods. Uh, but then they'll eventually charge up up to this snake fence here um, to much effect. Something very interesting about those beehives there, which I thought was very funny, is that I think the Union was coming through here and the bees started attacking them. Uh, something very funny. Can, are there bees in here, though? 
No, there's not. They're just they're just empty. So sad. Orv writes, uh, fix your game, please. <laughs> put bees in the game. <laughs> That'd be funny if they uh they did put bees in the game and they started. Jeez. So that is also something I didn't mention is uh CSA can also push down the center route here. Um it is a quicker path to the point of contention and it's not as exposed. But generally the CSA strat is just to charge, reform, and hit him again. Uh but I don't know what's going on here. Exactly, comrade. I agree. Um, yeah, I'm looking at them. Oh, yeah, I see you, Blake. They're moving back. Going Let on. them waste their time. Do you want to take a volley at them? Oh, sir? they're split it. No, 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 they're split it. They're split it. Hold, 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 hold. Stop. I like the cap. I, li I do, like, I do like this cap, I will say. Um, that's, uh, that's the kind of the one sad thing. Like, uh, in Fortnite, right, you customize your character. You see it the whole game. In War of Rice, you customize your character. You don't see it at all. <laughs> so, um, do we have any artillery here? We do. We have two artillery men here. One officer aiming, and then the other one is doing all the hard labor. Um, but CSA splitting up in the two groups. Is this group going to go... Down the orchard, or are they going to go around to this house? Because we also have CNCSA, another strategy. Um, again, not too often used because it's failed every time, but they will push down um, this direction. It's just hard because Union has that stone wall. Again, not impossible. Um, hey, they got the flag. Look at that. And who will pick it up? Somebody picks it up. No, no, Pogalipus. Uh, so, good time. I like the timing of this charge. Oh, are they charging or are they just holding up? It looks like they're charging. I don't know if that was an artillery shot, but. See the ragdolls in this game, the best part about it. So, I mean, this stone wall is pivotal. It's hard to go over to. This other CSA group still not engaging. Uh, IVB and 51st coming from the top of the hill. And CSA attempting uh, the orchard charge here. They're going to go to the left side. Union's just got to shift to the left here. Uh, but they're, they're le As of now, they're letting the CSA get there. So CSA, uh, I don't know, what are they doing? Four one in the open here. They're using this straight fence, but... They're just so exposed to uh, flanking fire. I mean, you can see you can just got a stone wall. That's going to be hard, and CSA taking those casualties because of it. And Union's actually winning this by a lot. Uh, they actually still are here, but that's the, I, this CSA group, they need to go this way uh, and engage up on that snake fence. As my recommendation, CSA also not wiped on this side. Is there a guy in this house? There is huge. Sharp unit. So, yeah, CSA charges halted on both fronts. You have the third Delaware, they're taking shots. So, this CSA group here, our mix of groups here, there. They are repositioning. It looks like they're going to go join their friendlies at this house. We still have Hughes. Is this a CSA guy here? Is he just order arm? <laughs> this is this is a mood. This is a mood. Madison debated for you. What a mood. Uh, defend the bar, not defend the cells. It would be a uh, tap for us all chest from there. Everett just told me I was translating Chinese when I talk with medicine. Is that you uh, know that the fuck? Uh, alright, we need to put more in something now. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming! They're coming, they're coming, they're coming! They're coming, they're coming, they're coming! Beautiful artillery shot, that timing was impeccable. 
that's a, a big thing with this update too, right? Um, timing is such a huge part because artillery can knock things down, uh, knock players down now. So third teleware just kind of charged, and oh my goodness, Union was winning this game by a mile, now they're losing by a mile. And CSA could charge right now. Wow. CSA, actually, I don't know if they have a man's advantage. Um, Third Delaware did do some damage, but I guess USA is still in the lead. I wasn't looking at the CSA tickets when I said USA was down by a mile, but that that really evened the odds. That really, it's the one thing you can't do as defenders is do that. But. Is he is still up there? Hughes is still up there. The fact, yeah, no, he. It was not. We need another charge, but on the left and come closer to the stone wall and take it. Not to push forward, but push on the left side of the stone wall. You heard it here first, folks. My hat is still spectacularly on that man. Did he just die? Not my boy. So, the CSA, you heard um, Avers there. He wanted to push down the left side. Uh, you could see Union returning up to the top. And Williamson wants to be aggressive here, even though they don't have any tickets. <laughs> There's like some two-year-old Chinese guy. They're coming. I, I love that so much. So they're not charging. Rather, they're pushing up to this uh, straight fence to engage the CSA. Keep things moving here. Let's see, is anyone? No one's coming from the right side. I don't know oh, I guess they're right. But third Alabama is playing. I don't like that they're pushing up like this because they can take a decent amount of casualties, but they're not taking that many casualties. And the good part, too, is CSA peeks around the corner and they're going to get shot. Uh, there's no reason. Yeah, like that. And both sides about to go down to engage. Jeez. See a couple CSA guys going around the other side. You do have Abraham Lincoln. I didn't know the president was here. So Union, yeah, I like that positioning from Third Alabama. I normally that I don't think something like this would work. Um, however, this is fair enough. I mean, CSA uh, could mass charge this way. Could Federer take engage? Now they're charging. They're charging. Both sides now engaged. These two guys are trying to stab each other on the bottom. They just can't kill each other. Artillery hitting all. Missing a shot. Yeah, he should be dead. I'm glad he got killed. So Union wiping the Confederate force on this side. And so we heard Avers uh, talking about going down the left. And now we do see first North Carolina. But... IBB 51st, they are um, up here to take shots. Or uh, hold. Fire. So. Yeah, I mean, Union's been praying this, except for that first uh, with charge we saw from 3rd Alabama over here. Union's played this pretty dang well. Um, they're still, they're ahead on tickets, which for any defensive situation is very impressive. We do have...
Now, will he pursue or will he fall back? That is the question. Looks like he will fall back to his friendlies. So for now, you shoot out indeed. I don't think First North Carolina is going to charge unless they're with their friendlies. Uh, and their friendlies are taking an awfully long time to move. What a game this is. So first North Carolina pulling off the stone wall. They're going to head into this wooded area. I guess can offer a little more cover. Shots whizzing above their heads here. But, wow. That is the, uh, the cool part about this game, I will say, is that everything is, um, they made one map for everything. It's just there's different boundaries. So you can't explore the whole battlefield from this position. For example, you see the good old Piper Farm over there with that barn. Shots being engaged, but it's really just at First North Carolina. Uh, you do see the roulette lane here. You do see the Mumma Farmhouse uh, on fire and the graveyard behind it as well. Uh, you can see the Dunker Church way over there. Um, the West Woods further northwest of that. Um, the Hagerstown Turnpike northwest as well. Uh, Miller's Cornfield. You can't really see the corn though, but that is the great part about this map is you can see everything. And then I think Burnside's is somewhere this way. Somewhere that way. Somewhere over here. Pretty sure. Um, so all the CSA has finally arrived over this location. I'm going to go see if I can find Burnside's bridge quickly. Because it should be over here. Because uh, I know there's three bridges. I think there's three. You have the middle bridge. Um, Burnside's bridge. Huh. I cannot find it. That's embarrassing. I think it's somewhere over here. Ah, it should be. I thought it would be somewhere over there. Uh, maybe I'm just not looking good enough. But 26 minutes. Uh, Union still ahead here on tickets. Um, yo, we have a couple of CSA Rambos here. Uh, we can see the third Alabama. Uh, they are quick timing. Back to the point. I don't think we can do something alone for so yeah. them to join us. Yeah, I know, I know. But I think they won't join us. I never saw, I never saw any rigmans to stay in a forest in this map. Okay, can you please go to them and ask them to go there? I yeah, send the chat. Really don't know uh, what just to wait, wait, wait. Ah, they're gone. They're I gone. They're gone. It's good. It's good. Stay here. Oh, look. look at that. Okay, they are coming. <laughs> Uh, look, Madsen, uh, we need to push them through the road and to the point. Just go on the right okay, side okay, of the building. We go with you. Okay. That was easy. Hold fire, not I really light. Everest, Everest, I think, I think they are just waiting okay. for us on the main road. Okay. Hold fire, hold fire. The perspective of a hay bale. <laughs> so, CSA, unified. Under one banner. Oh, this is fascinating. Third Alabama. Very aggressive here. Uh, this will not turn out well for them. But we shall see. That's why you fight the battle. Uh, to see if it does turn out well. Interesting. Uh, flag will get out. Yep. Uh, CSA should charge now. And now CSA is back ahead on tickets. Wow. Someone is chasing down the fire. I mean, CSA, you guys, you gotta know. Peroxide, will he get the kill? No. Um, CSA, you know there's even numbers, and you just wiped the living bejeebies 
out of the Union team. Um, they should be charging. They talked about charging. Why aren't they charging? In the center, they will break. Um, where are the officers? Uh, we wiped one line. We need to wipe the second one. Okay. We okay. just, uh, look, we just go and check now on the right. Please follow us, okay? Okay, okay. We fo uh, we'll follow you. We'll follow, follow you. us immediately, please, as soon as possible. So hopefully they start moving out because uh, they got to hurry before these guys. Uh, eventually get up to the point. Because um, that was a blunder there. IVB of 51st New York holding strong. And here comes the CSA. They got to just go for that stone wall. They can't stop uh, anywhere short. Beautiful artillery shot there. So you might see like someone aim their gun really close to someone uh, and shoot through them. Um, that's, that's just an issue with the game. So CSA should win this. I mean, they're 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 mostly pouring around this flank. I like that. Trying to get behind them, make that stone wall invalid because they're getting flanking shots. Uh, and yeah, CSA is going to get it. Union, uh, CSA should keep going. They really should. They shouldn't cap right now. I would really hate to see them cap. Because um, they could easily push the Union down to break, and they could charge up that two artillery or something. Um, CSA should, uh, they should go behind the stone wall. And Confederates go down to taking losses. Third Alabama charging in. Wow. So it looks like Third Alabama may win this in the end. Union going down to taking losses. But. Nice. So, third Alabama comes in and holds. Actually, there is one man left. I don't know. Cohen could change the sides here very easily. Don't kill the officer. The fact that he killed the officer, it may make sense to do so, but... No, because uh, Williamson, he didn't have any shots. And now you're going to let him respawn with those six shots. And the Union has plenty of time to sit around and reform their position. So that, unfortunately, was not a good kill. And Union's somehow back ahead on tickets. <laughs> Just keep slipping back and forth. Uh, peroxide. I love this man. Don't waste your shots, officer. She was volleyed at the man. Okay. Let's keep shifting right. We'll look at the stone wall. So, 20 minutes left. I mean, Confederates could still very easily win this. They have to win one charge. Um, and they'll probably push the Union down to breaking. And then cap and win. Union just has to keep doing what they're doing. Not make any major mistake, that's for sure. Near the drummer boy. You know, I'm glad at least we can all agree on one thing. Is killing drummer and bugle boys all the way to go? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can attack on the right flank through the small house somewhere at the southwest house. 
Okay, okay. Maybe I let you off far right? Good, can I have another judge, please? Uh, uh, we we'll are stay with us. We'll Thanks. That's what. So CSA uniting as one. Looks like they're gonna go down the right side, possibly right here. Honestly, I really like that. Sure, it's my like, oh, it's a wasted shot, but at least you can kind of dial in where you're aiming. Um, it's one thing I wish. Um, artillery for CSA needs to, or I guess artillery as a whole in the game needs to still improve. I think coordination uh, is a big thing that artillery needs to work on. I've seen artillery approve a little bit as of late. Um, no way he's going to shoot artillery at this one man. I uh, Second MS artillery is decently good at this. Uh, praise Provost for that. No, 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 I want to see the shot. So actually, CSA is going really far right. Bye, no, not terrible. Third Alabama uh, going up to this house here. I see CSA is doing a two-pronged attack. Uh, you cannot split up like this in a map like this, especially when the Union is just going to concentrate. Um, it might work, though. I'm sorry, but from this overview, that looks dumb. It might not be dumb from their view, but oh my goodness. Confederates making two. So third Alabama is moving off. This is going to allow first NC to get to their behind, and uh, Aver's group here is going to slam right into them. The Union group in the distance still holding. CSA, again, they have an opportunity here. So the push Union into breaking and win the game, they just got to, at first NC is going to charge this group right here. Uh, but I guess fair enough now with our new situation that the IVB is here. Um, it's going to be hard for first NC to win. They're shooting at a stone wall when you're trying to just run out, take a quick shot and run back. That's near impossible. What is Avers guys doing? Um, so... Avers is taking guys here. They are on the point of contention, but artillery's got that dialed in. Um, Avers could kill half these guys with his pistol. He's got two. He goes down. But no, Union wins that charge. Well done, the third Alabama. Um... Now third Alabama is going to push forward. You can see the fence is getting destroyed there because of the uh, artillery. Now third Alabama is charging in. This is an interesting. They've played very aggressive for Roulette Lane. Um, something you historically don't see. It's war. It's it's been so hit or miss the strategy of charging. Because right right now, it's a. Uh, I mean they're falling back I guess because of it, but that was okay. They've had one hit, one miss, and one okay. So I, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not bad. They're still the winning. Time they do that, they're gonna get wiped. Done this, this three times now. So CSA is almost down to um good old breaking. Yeah, they, the artillery is just shredding this fence. Oh. So, do ragdolls rest on the original, like, fence? What the heck? That is, that is something I thought I'd never see. I honestly am surprised. Oh, I could say. I don't know. With things being as even as they are, numbers-wise, and it being such a small slave server, I would expect the attackers to do way better. Um, Artillery, we are retreating. We want you to aim at the stone wall. Prepare to be firing at the cap, okay? Uh, so the Union... I am intrigued that they're falling back here. Uh, they've been winning the whole day. 
They, they, the only time they've lost is when they've split up. Um, and they aren't going to do that now because they're so close to breaking and the CSA can just cap and win. Uh, and they've been winning every charge other than that. So I don't see why giving the point up to the CSA would be good. Sure, they might cap the point. Um, but even then, I this over this uh, flipping the point thing is sure it's still valid, but I don't necessarily. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm not on the field. I don't know what they see. Maybe they're just nervous that they could go in the last stand if they have too many close charges and they'll be a final push. I don't know. Uh, looking at our numbers still, it's two man in balance, but Union has four men in artillery, so it's more two man in balance favor for the CSA. Uh, but CSA is pushing hard on this right side. Let's uh, let's go to the CSA view here. CSA is not going for the point. Probably is. <laughs> A little late for that shot. Uh, looks like they will charge. This. No, first NC is pushing down this left side. So they. So now they they want to push into breaking and charge. I don't. Union could very easily hit breaking here, and Union's just gonna. Third Alabama's falling back. IBB is kind of falling back too. Sorry, my mouse unplugged. What a time. Uh, leaving the artillery exposed to out of line deaths. Unions, ah, I really hate what I'm watching right now. Because first NC is on point. If they hit breaking now, they'll lose the game. Wow. And I will say, all these suggestions are from one man spectating the game from a completely different view than the people in game. So, if if I say something is stupid, it might not be stupid in the eyes of the players. It's just my suggestions from what I'm seeing. Uh, I could be very wrong. On top of that, what a shot. No, don't cap the point. No, 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 no. Don't cap, don't cap, don't cap. No, what are you doing? No, no. I'm not going to dox you because I'm not. Okay, they're not capping. The, the reason why I don't want to see him cap is because Union is almost at breaking. Uh, wait for them to hit breaking and then um, cap the point. Do not take it while they're at taking losses. CSA should really be pushing forward and taking shots here at the Union. Uh, trying to force them down to breaking. I mean, who is this? We have Roy Connor here. Oh, do, will the CSA see him? Yeah, they see him. Look at that. That team stab. <laughs> Alright. So CSA is pushing uh, further forward. They're going to go up in this hill and start taking shots. First NC is moving back to that hill there, and they're going to start taking shots. First NC could start moving to the cap right now. I don't know why the Union is... I mean, maybe Union wants them to cap while they're taking losses, but y CSA is in a spot where they can shoot them. I I need to hear something. Third Alabama uh, is going to the point of contention. Uh, IVB 51st and 2nd VA Cav are just holding out here. And they Maybe they want it. Proxy, get it. Oh, Proxy's reloading. Are these reloading? No, he's just standing still. So Union split up. Confederates have a chance here. And now these guys are moving out because it, I think they see that. Um, oh, wow. So 3rd Alabama is going to continue to go far. Are they going to charge up on here? Where, how far are they going? Uh, anyways, Union's going to hit break in a moment. And Confederates are breaking. Union should be there in a moment. IVB 51st charging the mass CSA group. And Union goes down to breaking. 
Uh, it looks like Confederates are winning on this front. Uh, and first and see, they're going straight for the point. Uh, but that is allowing Third Alabama to get the very positions that we saw them get at earlier uh, and get nice shots. They're going to have to go up and over. Like, you not have your load, good sir. He just ran up aimed. Uh, CSA could go down the hill and cap. Uh, they do have more men. The point of contention is also Odell the way down there. So they don't necessarily need to go over here, but uh, they have more men on point. They are capping. Uh, and 3rd Alabama is going to charge because they need to wipe them. Fighting is close. Point is going in the favor of the Union. Uh, Union starting to come down this road too, so it looks like they will hold this position. Union still, uh, yeah, no, heck of a job to Union. Uh, Confederates are ahead on tickets though. So that is something you, the Union should be wary about. So wow, seven and a half minutes. Confederates are ahead ticket wise. Confederates just need to hit them again. Um, uh, the things are with, I think, maps like these, it really depends on how the defenders play. Because the attackers don't have so much of. They don't have that many options on maps like these, right? Uh, like this map, they charge. Where they charge, that's up to them. But regardless, I mean, Union has positions to hold those charges. Um, so it really depends on how the defenders play. Hey, artillery got a Rambo. Look at that. Our our guy is still here. Um, so yeah, CSA they got they got time for a good two charges before we do see them um, win or I shouldn't say well, win. So that is, um, yeah, CSA, they, they just doing, they're doing what they need to do. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, CSA is doing what they need to do so far. The big thing is it's up to the defenders how they respond, and they've had great moments and not so great moments, I think, this round. Um, but they're still in the fight, so compliments to them on a CSA bias map like this self. But honestly, I wonder, um, right, because smaller size servers generally favor the attackers in a huge way. Um, we saw that last round. Um, but however, I wonder if it's too small for there to be any real impact because you have a small amount of players charging over a bigger um, area. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't normally... I don't normally spectate matches this tiny. I mean, if I'm watching pub matches, I usually get up to 100, 125, and we're 70-ish right now. So Five and a half minutes. CSA are going to go on this quarter. They're kind of spread out in the two groups here. Uh, this can give the Union an opportunity to deal damage to one defeat in detail. Ivy is moving over to help. They should go on that snake fence. I don't know if they will, but uh, CSA might have final push here. Union's almost close to the last stand, too. Both sides are going to go down this final stage here in a minute. Who will hit it first, though? Last stand, when, so Union hits last stand, so all those guys who are waiting to respawn, they're now back in the game. But all these guys out here, if they die, they're going to lose. Confederate tip final push. There's two and a half minutes left on the clock, but they have infinite tickets. A uh, decent amount of Union still here. Confederate's just got to bonsai in and just start killing as many people as possible. Again, their tickets don't matter. More kill on that officer. Wow. 
That's something I'll never get over, hearing a union guy do the rebel yell. Colin somehow living that. So these are all the respawns for the Union. This is it. Everyone here, this is the last of the Union team. Confederates going in again. I mean, CSA never did get wiped. He's not still being engaged. Confederates have a minute and a half to win. I think they'll do it. I mean, they got a, a minute and a half is a long time on a map like this. But, again, that's why you play the game, right? Analytics and chances of winning don't mean crap when you play the game. Uh, where's the rest of the Union Infantry? I guess that's it. You can hear, don't pick up the flag, and you don't pick up the flag because no one can respawn on it, and you just took away another weapon from your team. Because said that because flags, unfortunately, can't do damage in this game. What the artillery is popping off, but um, Confederates just charging down the middle now. But, hey, that's a big thing. We live and learn. Um, 40 seconds left. Will the Union be able to hold? Confederates coming from all sides. They're still winning the point of contention. You can see that on the top of the screen. If they start losing the point at any point, uh, we can consider this a loss for the Union. Union needs more bodies on the point when that clock hits zero, and they will win the game. Those Confederates aren't getting there. These Union guys need to get on point. I think this is game. Wow. Yeah, all these. If Union collapsed on point, they'd win the game. If the whole Union team collapsed on point, right? Oh, they, never mind. They won. Wait, did they win? They won. <gasps> wow. <laughs> um, another, another good round to watch. Um. I think a lot of things to learn from that, that's for sure. But nonetheless, that's especially when uh, newer events like these with newer regiments, it's uh, living and learning. Um, you can always come back next week, change up your strategy. But yeah, uh, Confederates, for the most part, did what they need to do. I think they could have charged more effectively together because um, like this spread out crap isn't going to work uh, on attacking maps like these. Uh, you just got to get your team together and push which is what they did a uh, big thing for the union though is the charging out um, I wouldn't recommend that I mean they won in the end so I guess I can't complain in that sense but and also pulling back when you're so close to breaking like that I get you were trying to get them to cap but at the same time yeah uh, with that being said I hope you enjoyed like comment share subscribe for more check out the Asian event discord in the description if you want to join and have a wonderful rest of the night